Hello everyone, Sargon Destroyer of Worlds here, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2022. And we're just fixing up our mistake from last time. Uh, if you watched last episode, I accidentally windrowed up the grass before doing the tetting. And these are hay contracts. So yeah, that was definitely my mistake. Now, as whoops, I missed a bit over here. I was about to say, as you can see in this field, we fixed it all up, but I just noticed that we missed this piece here. Now, I will come back and windrow this up uh, off screen, uh, and then you'll see us getting back to picking up the ooh, picking up a piece that we missed here, uh, picking up the silage on field 71, and then we can come back and get our hay get these contracts done and get to hopefully harvesting here uh, in this episode. We are just wrapping up. Okay, yeah, I did that one on purpose. Uh, the last of the silage here. Now you notice the uh, <laughs> the uh, bell wrapper was having a bit of a issue. So we are using the follow me app, and so at times it looks like the silage bales are just a little off kilter, so it's causing a few of them to stack up. But that's fine. Uh, definitely making things a lot more productive. Very happy for that, and. You know, one of the things you're trying to do... Oh, it looks like he's caught up, uh, mostly. Good job, buddy. You can see there he's struggling. Come on, you can do it. You can get that in there. You can do it. We'll probably have to help him out. Uh, I think what we'll do is we will look to see if we can scrape together uh, a little more silage to at least finish off the bale that's in the hopper here. And there's plenty of bits I've missed, because one of the things that's definitely a bit of a challenge is I do the Elm Creek Drift. Yes, that is a thing uh, when I'm trying to record videos here. Uh, well, and that's what I'm going to blame it on is just the recording, not my driving skills. You know, just losing a little bit of focus. So we will get this bale loaded up. And OK, we're going to have to do a tad bit more. Not a problem. So you can see there's a few spots. Yeah, the Elm Creek drift did occur, but that's fine. So we'll get this done. So speaking of done, we will get the auto loader. Oh, I love that auto loader. Um, and that's a real life one and not the magical poof, put it on the trailer. Ooh, yeah, and we're just driving around for bits. So let me just collect the last of the bits. So this should do it, 98, and we're done. There we go. Um, he's not doing too bad. So I will have to collect 
uh, used the wrapper to get a few bales that were missed uh, early on in the attempts of getting the following app to work, and a few that just kind of went, hey, no, that's the other fields, haywire. So, okay, that's a little bad. So what's not bad is the auto loader. So let's get a load up and start fulfilling uh, this contract. So this is our first of many loads, uh, probably, uh, to fulfill this contract. So we'll just hop up here. Uh, I think it was, nope, not that one. Oh, well, it was. Uh, Xbox controller is left control button and Y. Back that up. And this is what I love about this one. Now we can drop it. And then they just go in like butter. All right, not too bad. So we got a few more rounds trips to make. So we'll get that uh, done here. A lickety split, a barba click. While we have our transport truck uh, transporting, you know, because that's what they do. Oop, uh, the silage bales. We are now going to get uh, the hay picked up that we uh, previously missed. And I should have come back and did this row. I got cheeky and it bit me a bit. But that's fine. So we're going to get the hay here. Uh, and, you know, I'm really falling in love with this baler. Uh, now, it can only do... Ooh, and see, this is why I got cheeky, but we'll come back. That's fine. And it only does the rectangular barrels, which is the ones I actually do prefer uh, because they stack so much nicer on the farm. Uh, now, I still have to get used to the picking them up, front loader, but I like this. Now, there might be a better model out there. So this is borrowed as part of the contract. So we are going to have to finish this before we uh, accept contract 71, which is the silage contract. But it's a cheeky little trick in terms of taking multiple contracts, uh, but only needing to borrow one set of equipment. Now, as you've noticed, uh, we have plenty of mowing equipment. We're almost fully self-sufficient, but not quite. We are missing a baler and a wrapper. Uh, and I do want to get the auto loader or one very much like it that we have with this contract. Now, it is nice to just use the magical poof, you're on there. But, you know, we can't always do that. But in the meantime, let's just uh, get this one over here with a very quick time lapse. We are just finishing, and I was about to say wrapping up this field here, but there is no bale wrapping going on. Up at these two fields, we are just making some hay. Uh, now we are almost full with another bale here, so let's see if we can do that. And uh, I'm really to figure out another pun that works with this besides wrapping, which 
doesn't. Dang it. Uh, that's where my mind went again. So we will finish things up here. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we are going to just get all these bales delivered, them back to the farm, and then we can get on with harvesting at least one of our fields. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to do that with a uh, maybe a harvester that's on sale. We have to jump to uh, next month and see because uh, there's none available this month. Really wish I would have taken that deal that was on a beautiful, I think, case harvester. But can't always get what you want. unload it the bales just outside the trigger because I am not convinced I need all these bales so we're just going to put them in here see so already can see contract field 14 done half done 18 62 percent 78 just use all my skills okay one more And there we go. And a little extra, $593. So we just need to quickly load this up and we'll get all our hay bales back to the farm along with the silage to complete the contract. We've just wrapped up and yet yeah, no, well, we technically did the wrapping a little earlier, but we're wrapping up uh, the collection of all the silage bales. We have actually delivered all the bales to the contract point. Uh, for both the upper fields, which were hay bales, and as well as the silage bales. Now, you might have caught, depending on what I actually put in the edit, a few bales just weren't selling. Uh, it looks like there's a bit of a game glitch, because they're showing they were still fermenting, which would be normal if this was a normal field, or my field, but it was not my field, it was a contract field, so those are supposed to ferment automatically. But they did not. Uh, so let's just get these here and you notice how my previous great unloading job here. Yeah, that didn't exactly uh, work out. So we just need to get these lined up next to them. So not the perfect job, but, uh, you know, close enough. It's better than my Elm Creek Drift. So this time we won't uh, put them on top of the roof. Oh, uh, there we go. All done. So now we're gonna come in to our contracts and we're gonna get some nice money. So that's $18,500 from the two upper fields. So we'll collect those two and nearly $30,000 uh, on the big silage contracts. And that's not including the extra silage that we have. So there we go. And I oh, lost everything I was uh, in. So perfect. So let's uh, sleep on this and move to the month of July. Finally moving on. And we are anxious to get our canola because that canola is going to go to our oil mill production. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cross our fingers and see nothing that we need on sale. So that is a big bummer sauce. So we're going to have to go with old trusty here. She's done me good. What we're going to do is we are going to come in and harvest our canola fields. We're going to do the front two here. We will get this uh, loaded up and over to the oil mill production. That is our goal to wrap up this episode. Now, I do believe pretty much all our fields are ready, at least all the canola fields, and we have technically four, although these two small ones are really the size of maybe one real field. Uh, but we'll do the other ones in the next episode. 
because this episode has been catching up on our Silas Hay contracts, which did a lot of that work off screen because it was uh, time consuming. But happy for it because we do have a good chunk of money. Now, I was really hoping that there was going to be a nice harvester on sale. But uh, no, and we can't really afford a new one yet. So that's fine. We can, uh, ooh, look at that uh, curvature there. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Get a little bit of sway in there. So what we're looking at here, I'm going to kind of recap things. Uh, we do have one production, the oil production, and we ran out of canola a long, long time ago. So in a galaxy far, okay, no, wrong, wrong, no, wrong series. No, I don't have a Star Wars series, but I love it. So, but we need this canola. Now we have some sorghum planet, which we can use as feed. And what was the other thing? Oh yeah, sunflowers, which once again, for the oil mill production, that is going to really help us make a lot of money. Uh, of course, we got a lot of beehives on the go, which are great. But I would love to get a new combine because although a little top liner, doing a good job, done as good, but it is a tad slow. Now, I guess I could have leased one, but I, we really have a lot of fields to do and they're not all due this month. Maybe like if we had everything due this month, like let's just hire this work here temporarily. We come in, the sunflower field is still growing as is the sorghum field. So, you know, best way to look at it is here. We've got many months before the sunflowers are ready and the sorghum might be ready next month, but I do think that is in September uh, because I think we planted the sorghum, where'd you go? I think we planted it in May. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Oh, and since I put the worker on, he's actually treating these as separate fields. Ah, oh, well, that's uh, unfortunate. So let's uh, take back over here and we will fix this. Actually, I put the worker back on. Well, that's not have him on hit the wrong button combination there there we go so the other thing we're going to have to think about too is the farm layout now those chicken coops are going to stay where they are but we are going to start collecting uh well which we have silage bales and hay bales now we're going to collect some from contracts but we're eventually going to get our own field on the go for, you know, making hay and silage. And we're going to need that for some cows that we're going to buy in the future for feeding them properly. So I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do, but that barn is, I think, first up to be uh, re-envisioned somehow. But, I, you know, getting moving things around you know another option would be is decommissioning these front fields as well and making a really big front yard we're gonna have all of our equipment maybe some small productions i'm not sure um although i don't i don't like the idea you know if this is a real life you know we got our house there you know maybe like the maple syrup stand or that's a mod but Want to plant a bakery? Although you could put one here. That that could be an option too, right? As we uh, kind of zigzag a bit. This field could be a production in the future. Hmm, that's an interesting thought because it's not the best laid out small field. But you know, if we're actually going to decommission a field, that's that's going to be a major decision. 
But that could work out. You know, I'm kind of liking where, where this lot is going. Because then this front field here in front of the barn also decommission and really redo the yard. Hmm. So if I was to do that, we'd have to figure out how soon we'd be in a position to buy a new production. You know, which I don't think we will until we get a lot more canola oil made and sunflower oil made. So that's going to take a bit of time. But that is, I like, I like that because it's not next to my house. It's next to my neighbor's house, which sucks to be him. I mean, uh, I'll talk to my neighbor. I'll think, you know, we'll, I'll consult him, right? I, I wouldn't want him to do anything. Uh, not that he could, because he don't own the land next to me, so. <laughs> well, technically, if this is real life, there is a field behind my farm that he could still buy. Um, and that would not be good. But this is a main drag, and there are other commercial properties, like right here, so it does make some sense. I, I just don't want it on my farm, where my house is. From now, I think I could move my farmhouse. I think that's a possibility. Not 100% sure. But yeah, I kind of like where this master plan is going. So I could look to decommission this field. Now, I could also make it grass field partially while we redo the burn. So there's some thoughts. So you guys have ideas. If you want to uh, contribute to the redevelopment of my farm, or the continued development and you know, what would make sense, but I could definitely see that barn going, putting some other sheds along here for equipment and storage of bales. Hmm, it's a good possibility. Could also plant some trees and then this field being turned into a production field. Kind of like that. I kind of like where that idea might be going. So that might mean though in the short term while we save up for some money and think about productions and just ease of use, maybe these should become grass fields in the short term. Start making that because I'm not a fan of these turns, but with the mowing equipment, much, much easier. And it would get us some access to some cash too with the silage and the, and the hay, but also things that we do need. Although these, those would be temporary because I don't see this being uh, large enough fields to support everything that we need. Just collect this little bit, pump that out. And now we just need to grab a trailer here. Okay, we got that. Uh, let's go to the back trailer, disconnect it. There we go. We don't need that to come along for the ride, I don't think. As I say with 100% confidence. Because I'm pretty sure this can hold more than this combine. Pull up here. Just need to back that up. Sweet, sweet canola. Loving it. Just finishing emptying this up. Like I say, we will take this. Yeah, that's not going to fill up. Got less than 10% of the capacity of the harvester. 
just get this over to the oil mill production. But yeah, this this has been an episode for sure. We've uh, made some good money. Obviously, we got a good chunk of money in the bank uh, thanks to the contracts that we did take. We have some money sitting in some bales, both silage and hay bales. But we're going to hold on to those. One, because I don't think the price is the best price to sell right now. But I would like to also think of putting a cow enclosure on. Now, we're just talking about putting a production on the front field. I don't think I want to put the cows there. Um, you know, probably... Well, I think in real... Actually, no, probably in real life, yeah, outside the farmer's backyard, there, you know, there would be the field with the cows, if that was the case. But, uh, yeah, I, I think I want to put a actual production production there. You know, a nice commercial production. I think that would make sense if I was actually a business man, because this is Main Street. So, I think that would be the way to go. So, if we come along here... We can finally get this going again. Just get this tipped while that is... Oh. I thought I could hop out while it's tipped, but no, I don't think my game settings allow me for that. So we will tip this. And this is just to get the production started. But to actually get the production started... Oh, got to get unjammed here. We got to come over here. And we are going to get our canola oil being produced. And look how very little canola that we actually have. But we will take it. That is now money that's being produced. Just check here as well. Yeah, the greenhouse is still has got, got enough water. So this is running again. Very happy days. Happy, happy. So with that, I think we're going to leave that here. Uh, next time we will complete harvesting our fields here in the month of July. And then we will continue. And maybe, just maybe, we will get a harvester in our future. Or who knows? Stay tuned. Find out. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.